Check it out. Look at that. It is 7 o'clock and we are live. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning where you get your daily dose from me. Whoever threw me that thumbs up. That's awesome. That was quick. Hey, Joe, good morning. Glad to see you back. I know that you uh, uh, took some time off last week. That is a good thing. We all should do that every once in a while. In fact, hmm, maybe I'll do that later this week. Um, so, listen, if you are listening on your favorite podcast catcher, which happens to be a piece of software you use to listen to podcasts, if you haven't heard that before, if you're listening on your favorite podcast catcher, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. Join us on Facebook Live so you can join in the conversation. This morning, I love our topic that we have this morning. And uh, I, I'm i not usually one for snappy titles, I have to admit. But I kind of like this morning's title. What are you interested in and why it's holding you back? We're going to get to that in just a minute. Before we do, if you would do me the favor of leaving a comment, uh, let's see, it'll be down below. Leave a comment down below. Let me know that you're here. Do it. Joe just didn't say hello. Good morning. How are you? You need a haircut, whatever. All right. So today, is that right? Yep. That's all the announcements for today. All right. What are you interested in and why is it holding you back? Here is the deal. We all have things that we're interested in, and interests lead to expectations, right? And we've talked about this a lot. Expectations determine our satisfaction, dissatisfaction, frustration with a particular outcome. If we have an expectation, if we go into the bank and we expect it to take 30 minutes and it took 15 minutes, then we're happy because our expectations we're pleasantly thwarted. If we go into the bank and we expect it to take five minutes and it takes 15 minutes, we're mad because we were expecting it to be faster. Both circumstances took 15 minutes. Only one made us upset. So what we are interested in leads to a set of expectations. Now, the difference, there's a difference between what we're interested in and what we are committed to and this is why what you're interested in um, is causing problems for you we're we're interested in a lot of things but we're not committed to anything oh man i and look i i'll i'll put the hat on that applies to me also i get interested in stuff sometimes i finish sometimes i don't and all the time those things that we're interested in, they dilute our attention. Remember, we've talked about what you focus on, you get more of. If you get, if you get off into these interest areas, that dilutes your attention away from the singular focus priority outcome that you're trying to create. So don't let your interests distract you. Now, interests can also lead to commitments. And that's one reason in my rational brain, that's one reason why I say being interested in a lot of things is okay, right? Because I want to see if this is going to take me anywhere, or that take me anywhere. And that's one reason why I tell people all the time, I have lots of projects. Projects tend to turn into businesses or companies, but I have lots of them until somebody starts trying to pay me. Then I turn it into a business, right? So don't give up on interests. Just don't let them distract you. Now, how do you prevent interest from distracting you? Well, that's easy. It's, not, it's simple. Not easy. It's simple. It's simple because you give focus to your priority outcome first. Oh, man. But, Tom, that's hard. I'm like, right. I know it's hard. That's why I changed it from easy to simple. It's simple. You just give your priority outcome focus first. It's hard. Because I want to focus on the new shiny thing, right? Oh, there's a squirrel, right? So when you come up with your action plan for the day, not a to-do list, action plan, one priority, remember, only one, one priority, then you can have up to four other focus items. Those focus items can be whatever you want. 
But you have to, you have to pursue that priority outcome first. If you're using the Pomodoro method, give it two palms, two cycles before you do anything else. Right? Then, then work on the other stuff. That's fine. Right? Develop your interests, but don't let them derail you from your priority result. That's how you can have interests, but don't let your interests get in the way. All right, that's it for today. Look at that. Holy moly. I might even finish on time today. <laughs> um, but, uh, well, maybe not. Now I'm going to tell you this. I'm uh, going to be road tripping this week, so uh, shows will be interesting as we go on. Another show this week from... Um, the, the friendly confines here and then everything else is going to be on the road. So be sure and tune in for that. See where the show is originating from, what we're talking about and who, who will join me on the show. It'll be a lot of fun. All right. Uh, Monday, it's a magnificent Monday. You have a magnificent Monday. I'll be back again in the morning with another brand new installment. Seven minutes in the morning till then you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you then.